Hey everybody, welcome back to Common Sense U4 Multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Lion, as well as Quill, Mathis, and Roomba. Say hello. 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 Hey, how's it going? Terribly, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Terribly for you. I'm Military Tech 10, I caught up. Yay. Watch out. I'm excited. Everyone's yes. had some terrible times except for Roomba. This Roomba, is, Roomba but causes the terrible times. But he's still going to try to like, claim that he's not that strong. <laughs> I got my gold mine, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. This is the worst, though. Yeah. How's that water exhaustion? Uh, it, it could be better. I'll tell, be honest with you there. Um, it hurts, man. Oh, there's the Reformation. Hey, just in where time. did it start? Oh, way in the east. In the west. So, I mean, I might, I might not do this just because it would be really mean, but... Online, just so you know, I could declare war on you and call France in. Oh, yeah, that would be terrible for me because you definitely could not beat me solo while I'm also fighting Austria, Hungary, and Venice. Please be generous. Don't declare war and call in France. What? I mean, that's what? I'm not allowed to use my allies? <laughs> yeah, I'm just really saying, you know. I can't get any allies. That's like, you might as well just say, like, hey, I could take a gun and shoot you. I mean, <laughs> this is correct. <laughs> Guns exist. Uh, I guess you're right. Fine. That would be quite mean. I'm, I'm, I got a shit list now. Denmark is on my shit list. Shit list like C plus because they did have that war with Sweden. Poland, you suck. Go to hell. Um, Castile, you're fired. Don't deserve your world power status. Everyone's fired. It's like Donald Trump. Ottomans. <laughs> they fought so hard for you and now you're being mean to them. They can't hear me. Oh, <laughs> there they go. <laughs> Can you just pick oh. this out? Can you give them? What do they want? They want everything. They so want it full annex you? No, that's ridiculous. But they want uh, they want me to release Bohemia. So basically, what I'm doing is just like fucking kill me, and then maybe they won't take Bohemia. Maybe they'll be like, "Oh, we can take your provinces instead." But I think they're probably gonna take Bohemia. But it's such a large piece of my success that I really want to keep it. Uh, I want to keep the chance of it alive. It's uh, clinging somewhat to to hope. Here's the thing, because our Roomba keeps abusing our rivalry rules. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you oh, are. Boo. You keep being like, you're at, you know, there's a double alliance going on in Poland, which shouldn't be the case. If Mainz and Saxony were properly rivaled to each other, Poland would not be allied to both of you, almost certainly, which would shake things up a lot. You're causing things to be static. I am? Yeah, too many alliance blocks. Hmm. All right, fair enough. I mean, as soon as I can change it. Although I do say that, and I'm realizing Denmark is... Oh, no. Yeah, Denmark is allied to both Cologne and Saxony, which makes no sense. Because there yeah, should well, be a the, massive the, modifier for that. There is. It's like minus 50, but yeah. you can still... You can overcome it. Yeah. But it's hard. Oh, if I'd just given up Bavaria and Klebs. <laughs> <laughs> it's... That's like a huge linchpin for me, man. I was like, well, they were so close. They were about, like, one losing battle away from just taking Cleves. I was like, all right, I'll just wait for that. Castile goes out, and then the dominoes just start to fall in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 93 war score. Oh, it's, it's over, yeah. It'll, it'll be 100 very shortly. Why don't you just offer them something now before they get there? They won't take anything but the thing I don't want to give them. No. But they're going to get it they? anyway. They're probably wow. going to get it. Holy crap, Prague is worth 21.8? What did you do to that province? Uh, nothing, that's Bohemia. That, I mean, but that, damn, that is 28 development with an inland center of trade. It's a lot. Oh, this is painful. Alright. They still don't occupy any of my provinces, so I can't give it to them. This is real bad. <laughs> Oh. Uh, Danzig has converted to Protestant. This oh. is the result of the Center of Reformation in Marienburg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of pressure there. In Prussia. Well, don't I want to change over? Maybe. I don't know what the point or benefit or anything is. Actually, do you, do you have to switch over to become Prussia? I need to be Protestant or Reformed. Yeah, one okay. or the other. So, yeah, you probably want to. I mean, when, in the end, where can that, I make that decision? Uh, from the religion screen. 
As long as at least one of your provinces... Actually, that's not true. I guess I could switch to Protestant right now and get a center of reformation. I can't... Con does the convert button's not... Like, I don't no, see no, a think about button. it. Uh, on the religious screen... In, I'm on the religion screen. it says screen. Catholic, and it's got a cross with an arrow. Oh, I see. Yep. Convert to Protestant. Okay. Center yeah, of Reformation Marian, will appear. You already have one in your country, actually. Is Marienburg... Well, it's technically in the Teutonic Order, but it's effectively in his country. Should I, if I oh, if I should oh, do you have it? the same you have the same color. Yeah, they're very similar. Now, if I take this, does that mean every one of my other? Uh, mm, no, one of your provinces. Oh, oh, well, a little bit maybe. Like yeah, I mean, Catholic countries won't like you as much. Do keep that in mind. That will be a thing. Yep, it's gonna fracture your country a bit. That's what I'm worried about. I don't want it, like rebels popping terribly right now, so I'll wait. Hey, Castile, thank you for declaring war on Oyo. Uh, your efforts are very much appreciated. <laughs> You're upset with them? Not really. I mean, they put up a pretty good fight. But this they... is just... I like how Castile's declared war when there are 600 ducats in debt. <laughs> and they have, like, 12 regiments. Muscovy wants disaster. to be my ally for some reason, so sure. What's up, Muscovy? How's things? Ooh, an alliance. Okay, so hold on. You just got done complaining about how yeah. I'm blocking exchange alliances. Now you have an alliance with Castile, and so does Saxony. And I don't understand, but I took it. It's so harder. So you're blocking, you're blocking things, snur. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm mostly trying to block you with France there. Like, oh, by is there any chance I could ever get Burgundy? No. All right. Yeah, it's you and your big stick of France. At least you can only use it once every 10 years now. Thank God for yeah, that. I really like that change, too. Because I, I really do feel like having... Letting the AI actually, like, do stuff is quite nice. Oh, I just saw a piece from Saxony. What happened? Yeah, it's it's the end of the world. Oh, you still fucking... No, you don't. No, I lost Cleves and Bohemia and Bavaria. There. England just wasting no Protestant. time. <laughs> Deal with that stain on the map. Oh, such a disaster, oh God. man. There's so much happening right now. Yeah, there's a lot of pop-ups. Uh, well, you know what? I, I can't really blame anybody but myself for the way that that went down. You're declaring on Bavaria? Maybe. Nope. It, like, it's public information. I don't know what you would do. <laughs> it's like, you're just making us all have an extra click. It would have been extremely uh, easy for me to get out of that war earlier, but I, uh, my, my pride wouldn't let me, so no, that's fair. I take ownership. Pride goeth before the something, you know. Mm-hmm, yes. I gotta be a little careful, though, because... I could just as easily have a coalition against me. Yeah, we're all riding that borderline. Well, Not what is me. the borderline? It's like thirty. <laughs> it's like thirty. Um, thirty is where they're allowed, right? Yeah. So, like, Northern Line still has like forty something with a lot of people. Yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased about that. It makes a lot of sense. The aggressive expansion that I got. All of that and then some has been removed. Like, I don't even own that land anymore. But yeah. they're still like, you're a dick. <laughs> but you have a truce, and by the time the truce wears out, you'll be all right. How many more videos do we have after this one? Oh, you got some place to be? No, I'm curious if I can do, if I can become Prussia this week. Or if I'm going to have to wait till next, next time we play. Mm-hmm. I need to be admin tech 10, which is next. And I need to change my religion, which I could do, which would cause my country to probably hate But again, if, life. if it actually will give you a center of reformation, you're effectively going to have two in your country. So your country is going to auto-convert to Protestant super fast. Do, do I have a center of reformation somewhere? Well, Marienburg has one. It's right next to Danzig, so... It will spread the religion. You're going to get Protestant all over your country, no matter what you do. Oh, it's going to cost me 100 prestige. Jesus. Mm -hmm. 100 prestige, which is going to put me at a negative 102 prestige. <laughs> uh, well, 
I think, I think he may have already missed the chance to get a Protestant center, center of Reformation because England switched. Oh, yeah, only three centers of Reformation. So where are they? Hmm. Oh, did you get one? Hmm. You I got wonder. one. Hey, look at that. So you don't want to be the Pope's best friend and get the uh, the award anymore. No, the Pope's a dummy. I don't like him at all. <laughs> oh. Loser. I'm going to get all the he's prizes a, now. He's a loser. Silly Pope. Well, it's going to be a fun 30 years war when it comes up. Now, an event has to trigger before you can join it, right? And you join it from the HRE screen, is that right? Yeah, there's like, uh, I think the Reformation itself, like the actual Reformed, needs right. to have fired. Okay. So it's going to be a lot, like probably 20, 30 years at least until the actual Reformation. Okay. Uh, League Religious War happens. Right, that's I the think. one. So I accidentally called in um, France against Bavaria. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's a useful use of your ally. Yeah, uh, ten years from now, I guess I'll use them for something a little bit more significant. Ugh, ugh, Bohemia. They have no alliances, man. It's like... It's just sitting there. <laughs> I could take it. <laughs> again. <laughs> I could take it again. Truce ends in 15 damn years. When I started this week, I was like, I gotta wait four in-game years and then I can annex Bohemia. No problem. <laughs> what a what a thorn in my side. You tried though. Yeah. I'm gonna be beating myself up over that one for a while. Tonic Order are gonna try to eradicate the heretics. They're gonna have a hard time doing that considering they have a center of reformation in their actual territory. Well, yeah, the the seven stack that popped up is about to wipe their own army, so <laughs> they're good luck. Hey, now when you uh, search for a province, they outline it in pink. Mm -hmm. Oh, do they? Oh, that's great. That's so much better. Memel is now the seat of the new cardinal. He is loyal to me. I have an active cardinal. Nice. So this... Did you know that you can... Uh, go ahead. Oh, no. Uh, the forgive usury thing in th that you can spend your pope points on. Like, I mm -hmm. don't know exactly what the interest per annum does. Like, it doesn't really show up transparently. But that yearly inflation reduction is actually awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, interest per annum is pretty simple. The The base loan value is 4% uh, interest. Okay. So instead and it's going to be 3%? Hover... Yep, and it is retroactive on your current loans. Yeah, so and that's the all thing. The it goes down. doesn't tell you those percentages. It says you have X number of loans, you're paying this much per month. Yeah, but, but if you click on the repay loan button, it'll tell you interest 3%. Oh, that's right. There it will tell you all the stats. New right. draperies. Woo! I give up Cleves right as they get new goddamn draperies? <laughs> <laughs> that's bullshit, man. I'm with you on that one. Oh, come on. Could have been our golden age. I'm going to be losing sleep there. over this one. It feels so good that this whole Cleves thing is behind us now. <laughs> I mean, so I'm, I actually am happy you, about that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that you can force someone's religion if you while you're full annexing them? Like, while they cease to exist, you can force them to acknowledge that your religion's better. Oh, that's good. I guess only if they're small, but... Oh, come on. The elector of Bohemia is choosing France as the emperor? Nice, that's who I'm voting for. That's yeah, I noticed. Oh my god. You know, it's pretty funny. Hey. What does uh, Diplo Tech give you? Trade power? Or sorry, Diplo uh, Development. Hey, Mathis. Hey, Mathis. <laughs> Is that, are you going to say no? What's Diplo I Development? Did, I did. I did. Oh. I did give him back. Oh, you did. I don't even know what that does for me, to be honest with you. Yeah, after I made him a vassal. They had the territory. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so now, so now they, get, <laughs> they get on all the territory <laughs> in their own province. That's funny. 
So spending, so doing diplomatic development gives you more production of goods. Mm. So effectively some money plus cheaper shipbuilding. Whatever it says for like monthly production income, that is, um, yeah, sure. Um, that is, uh, absolute, right? Like plus zero to tax income per month and plus zero to production income per month are the same, except they might be augmented by like efficiency. I would guess so. All right. All right. Well, we will invest heavily. How did I get so much money? Four? Oh, right! Cleves had 440. Oh. Really? But if you forget <laughs> to ask, like, you full annex the country and then the money just poof, disappears. Dang. It's a lot of loans paid off. I know the feeling, yes. I'll admit I took out like 500 ducats in loans to support your rebels. <laughs> it didn't it didn't work. <laughs> I don't think it paid off. No. No. How high did they get? Come on, tell me. The uh, percentage. Oh, percentage uh the Susses, they're Sussinian, yeah, whatever it was. 70% when you were asking. I think that, that was... they're at 80 if now. They fired. If they had fired, that would have been a pretty serious rebellion right when you were dealing with all that stuff. You had like eight war exhaustion. Right. <sighs> yeah, I would have probably kept it going if places. I had known. If I had known that it was at <laughs> 70 or 80%, I would have kept it going. But no, they won't tell me anything. Mm -hmm. They're just, thanks for the money. <laughs> See ya. Uh, that's too bad. That's that. Mm. <coughs> You get extra papal influence if you have over a hundred relation with the Pope. Every yeah, every bit of opinion helps with the Pope. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a percentage thing too, so it, like whatever your base gets because of reasons. If you control cardinals, for example. Or if you're the Legatus Natus. <laughs> ah. Legatus not Natus is a loser. <laughs> Okay, we gotta teach these Protestants what's for. I'm worried I'm gonna end up being like the only Catholic left here. <laughs> you guys are all gonna convert. <laughs> like, uh, one true God protect me. I'll go reformed. Hmm. We'll go with the, try to become the papal controller. Sure. What's my good mission? Right now? Cause it'll never happen. Often works out. <laughs> I have a fourteen percent chance. All right. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, actually. Uh, the papal state has a twenty-three percent chance. Unfortunately. Well, it's right there in the name, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's how to get all that tourist money. <laughs> they do have a side business selling hats, though, so they do all right there. <laughs> Sweet hats. Mm -hmm. When we were in London, and Kate and I were in St. Paul's Cathedral, which is like this super old amazingly architectured uh, cathedral they have a gift shop and they have all sorts of religious paraphernalia as you would expect they also have stained glass with the stars and stripes behind it and then like a bald <laughs> eagle in mid -flight. Awesome. it's so perfect i was like man that's how you know it's a tourist destination they're like okay fine we'll sell out a little bit just a little bit Does that bullshit, like, Netherlands event still fire? Because that thing is annoying. Mm-hmm. And I'm in the wrong part of the world for that. Oh, yeah, it's going to fire. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Hmm. I'll have to move back to Ayutthaya before that happens. Eh. I liked it out there. I want to see the new Buddhist stuff. I miss Uzbek now. Those were the days. <laughs> Uzbek? That was a long time ago, right? That was, like, a year ago. Yeah, we've been playing this game for a long time, huh? Yeah, and I still didn't realize it should just give up Cleves in Bavaria. 
things could be so different. <laughs> You're still pretty big, though, man. I'm, uh, well, I might as well just tell you because the information is publicly available that I'm, like, completely a paper tiger right now. Well, yeah, but you yeah. still have a lot of allies. Yeah, yeah that's, you're, like, that's what all protect you. If I were to declare mm -hmm. war on you right now, Castile, Burgundy, Poland, England, and Denmark would all come on your side. And that's why I, another reason why I'm not, like, scared to say it. But I yeah. literally have zero troops, so... It's a good way to make I'm money, just, though. <laughs> it is! I'm, I'm making enough money to pay back those loans that I took. I'm thinking by, by 1540 I'll be out of this. Living large again. Mm -hmm. How many loans just you got right now? Uh, just two more. Oh, shit. I still have five from my oh, Burgundy wow. War. <laughs> just don't tell oh. my allies that they have no reason to be allied to me. <laughs> <laughs> what was that you say? Don't tell them that you're... Is there, like, that's something in Diplomatic? is like, hey, look at the army of your ally. No, no, there's something that makes them all hate you, though. <laughs> I'm aware that you have a sabotage reputation. This is true. I took uh, I took espionage ideas that one time. Yeah, I it's so weak. I think I, I really think I'd be doing a lot better off if I had taken something else. But it's just fun. It's, like it's fun. Exactly. Yeah. Mess with Different. people. Yeah. Like I almost did. I almost had Quill have like a massive Socinian uh, rebellion. Why? Pause, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the end of the episode anyway. But whatever. Yeah. Happened? Two of my allies fighting each other. Oh yeah, Burgundy declared on England. Okay, Burgundy declared on England. The nation of England is requesting that you come to their aid in the Burgundian conquest of Calais against Burgundy, Flanders, and Holland. This is a defensive war. Burgundy is allied with the Palatinate and Venice. Um, I would rather keep Burgundy as an ally. Let's do some quick analysis. Burgundy has 26,000 troops and a lot of manpower. England has 35,000 troops and a lot of manpower. The Palatinate, which is under T has 8,000, and was it Venice? No. Venice has a million, and it was 16,000. Who is England's ally? Me, Provence, Tuscany, and Muscovy. Why? <laughs> Alphabetical order, you fucked me again. <laughs> okay, I am going to decline this call to arms. And hopefully Burgundy doesn't call me in. Just let it go like three or four days here. Maybe like till June ticks up. I How just want to see if Burgundy in? calls me in. How could they? Didn't you? He declined the defensive call, but theoretically... Oh, the offensive, call. Yeah. 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 I think they're just going to be like, well, why would we even want you? Which is completely fair. Uh, sweets. They did not. All right. Yeah. I'm good if they, you have... they could in the next 30 months, though. Anytime. Well, maybe I'll just uh, protect myself the only way I know how, by not building an army. <laughs> My hands are tied, Burgundy. What can I do? You caught yeah. me at a bad time. Everyone's good? All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sweet. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And you can check out reddit.com slash r slash Roomba07 for the view sync links in the pinned thread at the top for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.